<laughs> MMA Viking. <laughs> <laughs> MMAviking.com here with uh, Marcus Vantanen and UC Hallinen. What brings you guys back to Sweden? And Andreas and uh, the guys called me to help Alex train for his big fight, so I just brought my, my buddies with me at this time. And it's been awesome, good training and hard sparring. That's yeah. what we're still looking for. Yeah, I think I remember you coming for a camp when Alex was training for Matt Hamill. That was like, I don't know, four years ago or something. Yeah, or yeah, something. I've been here a lot. Of it. I like it. I like it. Uh, when did you first uh, meet up with Alex and start training with him? Uh, well, the camp to Matt Hamill fight was the first time I came to train here, but uh, I met him before and we, we talked that we should train together even before that. So. Uh, yeah, but the Matt Hamill fight camp was my first first training camp here. Great. So we saw both of you guys back uh, in the cage, at cage 29. Uh, Marcus, your first heavyweight uh, bout. Uh, you see devastating uh, finish. When, when do you guys see yourself back fighting again? I will fight uh, in all Okay. How's your training going? I know you had some surgery at one point. We saw you in the hospital. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I got surgery on my leg, and uh, now it's all good. Hard training. Great. What kind of guys do you look to train with here? Who are you training with at, at All Stars? Uh, everybody with the pro guys. You know, whoever <laughs> wants to train, I'm down. Yeah, but there are lots of good guys here, Reza and Westy, Jonathan Westy, man. The other ones. I like it a lot. Oh, who's a bigger welterweight? You or uh, Jonathan Vestin? Yeah. Who's bigger? Who's a bigger welterweight? A bigger? I don't know. But you'll, you'll say stronger. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You guys both look like middleweights. So. Yeah. He's a good guy. I, I like him. Good. And, and Marcus, last time we saw you at heavyweight? What did you learn from that experience? Uh, it was kind of an up and down fight and kind of ended on the, the downside. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a good fight, but I had a... It was a lot of things going on before the fight and uh, I didn't have it like the, the, the right mentality in, in that fight. But, but, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from that fight and, uh, and uh, now I'm just training. I don't have a fight book now. But, I'm just training and uh, I'm really happy from all the injuries and, uh, and uh, hopefully I'm going to compete in uh, submission wrestling or tie boxing in the coming months and after that we we see when I come back to the MMA cage. Okay, and uh, heavyweight, light heavyweight or uh, just... I don't know yet. I am weighed like 105 kilos so uh, I can do both. I can do drop down or, or fight heavyweight. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I think... I mean, as long as I was introduced to Nordic MMA, your name has always been part of the scene, and you're only 28 years old. Yeah. What, what kind of goals do you still see ahead of, ahead of yourself? Or you think this is the middle, this is the level, or there's a next level to get yeah, to? Yeah, I'm sure there's some, like, I haven't shown nearly all my potential. I know that I still still have a lot, lot to prove and a lot to show. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see when I get back and in the fighting and and uh, where I can go. But I, I know I, I I have the 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 skills and everything to to be to be at the top. Great. Uh, last question for you guys: Hard Knocks Helsinki. It, I mean, that just kind of came out of nowhere, and you guys moved there. And I, I see the pictures. It looks like a busy gym and you guys are getting some younger fighters in the system and holding like amateur events there what are kind of the advantages or what, what do you see as the positive so far of the new team and gym well of course uh it's uh, just training portable it's a small town it was hard to get sparring partners and everything and now it's in helsinki and there's a lot more guys training at, at the, uh, every morning and every afternoon so it's like a bigger team and uh Lots of good guys and uh, of course professional coaching with Jaco and really good manager also Oscar. Yeah, Oscar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Takes care of everything. Yes. So he take care of this trip, he yeah, books he did, everything yeah, for yeah. you? Okay. 
Well, great guys. It's always good to see see you guys here in Stockholm, and it looks like maybe we'll see you in in battle in Finland uh, later this year. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks, guys. Thanks.